All right, guys, it's definitely been a hot minute since I have done a what sold video, and that is what we're going to be going over today. What's been recently selling for me on Poshmark, and yeah, mostly just Poshmark because I haven't been making sales anywhere else. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jen. I am a full-time fashion reseller here in Los Angeles, California. I specialize in selling women's mid to luxury tier clothing, accessories, shoes, and handbags. I have been doing this for almost three years now and I love it. I like to share my tips, my journey, clothing hauls, everything in between on my YouTube channel. It's actually been a while since I've created content on my YouTube channel, so this is the first video in a while, so I'm really excited to be back. I'm going to try to stay consistent on here. I got mixed into doing whatnot. I've been sick. I was traveling, and now I just kind of want to settle down and get back to my YouTube routine. So if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video, and if you're a subscriber already, I love you. I appreciate you. You already know that. And let's get right into it, guys. I am going to go over, I think, 11. I'm going to go over 11 Poshmark sales today. Uh, one eBay sale and one this year. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I don't know how to pronounce it. I need to Google it or something. But I was on Tradesy and this year recently bought out or whatever took over Tradesy and I moved all my listings from Tradesy to that platform and I made a sale within like one day. So I'm going to share that with you guys. But first, let's go over Poshmark sales. As you can tell my voice, I'm still a little bit sick. Poshmark has slowed down a lot for me the past few months. Like I was saying before, I was selling on whatnot and I was doing about two shows a week. And so I just kind of stopped listing or wasn't consistently listing on my platforms I usually sell on. I wasn't cross-listing. So I've got back into that um, within like the past two weeks. I've been cross-listing and listing at least 10 items a day. Um, and I'm just not seeing any major like improvements in my sales. My sales have definitely gone up, but I... I'm not seeing as much as I would have hoped to. So hopefully that changes. I'm just going to still continue to do what I'm doing now. But these are sales that have been in like the last week. And um, this is what's been selling for me. So I want to share that with you guys. So you guys know what to look out for when you're outsourcing. Hopefully you guys learned some new brands uh, to be on the lookout for. I'm always coming across new brands here in LA. So... Yeah, let's hop right into it. The first sale I'm going to share with you, I'll pop up a little picture right here. It's going to be the by the brand Rafa, which is R-A-P-H-A, -A, I think, yes. Um, This was a woman's thermal jersey jacket. Rafa is like a high-end kind of bougie cycling brand, I believe, and their clothes sell really well for me. I had a consignment client who had a few Rafa items, and I think I'm saying that night right, Rafa, right, Rafa. Um, anywho, he had a few items. I sold those for him, and they sold for anywhere from that fifty to seventy dollar range. And this woman's jacket sold for sixty dollars, so um, I knew to pick up the brand when I saw it already because it had sold. Well, in the men's category, I knew it would probably sell well in the women's category as well. So definitely be on the lookout for this brand. This jacket sold for $60 in about a month. I spent $23.77 on this. I purchased this at a buy, sell, trade store. Buy, sell, trade stores are my favorite place to go sourcing. However, I'm going to have to cut down on that because sourcing at buy, sell, trade stores are very expensive. And... Besides the point, my profit on this jacket was $24.23. So I was hoping to sell this jacket maybe more so around like that $70, $75 range. But I uh, just decided to take the offer and I'm happy with that profit. It was above $20. Whenever I am sourcing at a buy, sell, trade store, I'm looking to make $50 or more profit on the item usually. 
uh, but this wasn't the case. So that was still a great pickup. I would still pick up the brand again. And yeah, be on the lookout for Rafa. Next is gonna be a Eugenia Kim Houndstooth hat. This was my first time picking up this brand. I found this hat new with tags at a buy sell trade store as well. And I definitely paid up for it. I had looked up comps. I saw that it was sold on Revolve and I think the hats retail for like two, $300. So that's very expensive for just a hat. And I sold this for $175. I spent $52.18. I think they originally had it priced at $47.50, but the buy sell trade stores here in California, at least, I'm not sure if it's like this other places, they charge a surcharge. So that's like four to five dollars on top of what they're already selling the item for, which sucks. Um, but that's something to always keep in mind when you're outsourcing at a buy sell trade store, such as Crossroads Buffalo Exchange, uh, that they're probably going to charge you a surcharge on top of what you're buying the item for already. So be aware of that. I paid $52.18 for this, and so I actually profited $87.82 on this, which I'm really happy with. The lady had sent me an offer of $120. I messaged her and just let her know, like, hey, thank you so much for your offer. Um, I have been doing this recently more. Um, I reached out to them, let them know, you know, thank you so much for your offer. I thank them. Unfortunately, at this time, my lowest price is blah, blah, blah. Uh, hopefully that works for you. If it doesn't, no worries. I appreciate your offer anyways. Smiley face. And it usually works out in my favor. In this case, it definitely did. She, I ended up sending her my lowest, which is 175 And she accepted. She purchased this for her husband. And which was interesting because it was like a floppy hat, more of like a girly hat, but maybe the man's more stylish. The, the man's clearly more stylish than lots of us women are. So, um, yeah, that was a great profit and I will definitely pick up that brand again. All right. Number three is going to be this Free People Rare Alpaca Wool Oversized Long Cardigan. I usually don't like or it's not that I don't like. I usually am not fond of when people put rare in their title because people abuse that word in their title when it's not rare. Like there's clearly several others on the resale market and you're saying that it's rare when it's not. But in this case, this was rare. There wasn't any others on there. So I was okay with putting that in the title. And this sold for $150. Same case here. The lady offered me, I think, $100. And we went back and forth. I don't want to waste my time. I hate going back and forth. And after, like, the third or second time counter-offering her um, with the same price, I just messaged her. And I was like, hey, same thing. This is my lowest. Uh take it or leave it basically and she said oh like you know she's perfectly fine with paying my lowest which was 150 uh she just wanted to try so she ended up accepting 150 I paid 32.50 for this at a buy sell trade store and I profited 87 dollars and 50 cents so for people cardigans especially if they're long chunky knit cardigans do amazing um and I hope to come across more of these in the future. Next is gonna be a item I sold for a consignment client. It's actually two items. Uh, it was purchased by the same person. So these two pairs of Ugg slip-on sheepskin slippers in the colors black and gray sold for $75 each. I guess she was new to the platform. It didn't occur to me that I should probably bundle them and send her a better offer that way. So she saves on shipping but I didn't do that I don't know why so she paid it separately for each pair and they ended up selling for $75 each I like I said I was selling this for a consignment client me and this consignment client split the profit so I think they made about like 20 something dollars each on this I didn't do the math but I just wanted to share the sale with you because I wanted you to be on the lookout for UGG slippers 
These sold uh, within, I think, three days, and they got an insane amount of attention. This of them, and within, like, the first, like, five minutes or ten minutes, they had, like, eight likes. Like, it was really crazy how much attention they got. So, especially if they're in good condition, be on the lookout for Ugg slippers. Um, the moccasins, the boots, they always sell around that probably, like, $50 to $80 range for me. All right, next is gonna be this Men's Everlane The Chore Shirt Jacket. This sold to a gentleman for $45. I paid $7.99 for this and my profit was $28 and I picked this up at a Goodwill. I, the last two times I've sold it to men on Poshmark, they are so impatient with the ship time. So like, so when this sold, I was sick. Um, it sold like on a Thursday and the guy was like, I need the tracking number uh, by like Saturday or uh, and just asked me like when I was going to ship, blah, blah, blah. I let him know I was sick and just very impatient. Same thing happened with the guy before when I sold him a pair of sweatpants and it was just really annoying with this sale. He left me a four star review due to ship time and I'm like, I was sick. Sorry for my language. But I was like, I was sick. Like, what do you want me to do? So that still irritates me to this day. <laughs> Next is going to be this Free People Lost in the Forest knit sweater. Um, this wasn't a big sale at all. I purchased this maybe like a year ago. Someone on American Horror Story was seen wearing it in a different colorway. So I thought it would sell for around that $50 mark. And it didn't. I sat on it for a long time and it sold for $27 with discounted shipping. I paid $6.99 for this and I profited $11.93. So sometimes it's like that. This, however, was a very good sale. This is something I recently sourced before I got sick and it sold within two days for full price. This is a Veronica Beard Cutaway Dicky Blazer in a size eight. It was a great size. I cannot believe that I purchased this at a Goodwill. The first thing that I had come across that day, and they had it marked for $19.99, I paid $15.99 because I had a 20% off coupon. So, definitely one of my favorite thrifting Goodwill buys for sure. It was in excellent condition. The person probably wore it once too, so crazy. It sold for full price for $3.50 on Poshmark. I paid $15.99 for this and ended up profiting $264.01. So please, more sales like that coming my way. Next is going to be this 100% cashmere Samara striped sweater by the brand Cool. Cool, I believe, is Madewell's, like, high-end brand. Or maybe it's, like, their sister brand. But it's definitely more high-end. Uh, their cashmere sweaters are, like, $180. I was hoping to sell this for a little bit more around that $100 mark, $120 mark. But I ended up selling for $60 because it did sit for quite a while, uh, several months maybe even a year. I paid $25 for this, and so I profited $23 on this sweater. Overall, though, this brand is a really good brand, so be on the lookout for it. Just maybe not pay up too much for it. I know that their chunky cardigans do a lot better, so hopefully you guys come across a chunky cardigan. Another full price sale were these Madewell sneakers. These were super cute. I purchased these at a Goodwill. These also sold for full price of $80, which is awesome. I paid $11.99 for them and I profited $52.01, which is an awesome sale for a pair of Madewell sneakers. Next are gonna be these Joa Brown Empire Joggers in Cafe. They sold for $120 and I paid $0 for these. These were donated to me by my neighbor and I profited $96 on these sweats. This brand, Joa Brown, I've mentioned it before on my channel. It's one of my favorite brands to sell. It always sells pretty quickly within like the first two weeks of listing. 
Um, it's like a streetwear, loungewear, LA brand. I really love it. I hardly ever come across it, but I hopefully will come across like one of their cardigans or their sweatshirts. Putting that into the future. <laughs> Um, but be on the lookout for Joe Brown because it's definitely a bola brand and a brand that is sought out after. And last sale I'll be sharing with you today is going to be this new with Tags House of CB Phony Blush Vegan Leather Bodysuit. This I picked up at a Bicel Trade Store for only $25. This sold for $105 and I profited $59 on this. I really love selling House of CB. Um, I feel like it's definitely a desirable brand, so be on the lookout for that brand as well. Okay, back to, okay, so going to eBay, I have been making horrible eBay sales. This sale I'm sharing with you is like the last sale that I've made on there in the past week, maybe week and a half, and they are the Sorel Leo Leather Wedges. This is... Definitely a popular style from Sorel. These were the first pair of Sorels I've ever sold and they sold really well. They sold for $102.70. I was donated these completely free. So I profited $84.48, which is great. And then this next sale, it, I didn't sell on eBay, but the lady had reached out to me on eBay asking me if I wanted to meet up because she was just, a next door in Mar Vista, which is like a 10 minute drive for me. And she's like, Hey, like, are you okay with meeting up? Uh, cause taxes were going to be like $40 and then plus shipping too. So I was already selling this Doan dress for, I think 400 or 350. And I had sent her an offer of 330 and she said she was good with that price. And um, basically, if I could just meet up with her in person, I get the full commission. She gets, you know, she saves on shipping and taxes. So I was like, yeah, for sure. Sounds kind of sketchy, but it wasn't. I can tell when somebody is a real person or like a, not like a dangerous person, I guess. <laughs> and a message and I looked at her like reviews and her eBay account and she was fine. So I was like, yeah, for sure. So, um we exchanged info and yeah she ended up coming over uh to my apartment complex and i sold her this doan new with tags qr dress and evergreen ditzy floral i sold this to her for 330 dollars i paid 165 dollars and 75 cents and i ended up profiting 164 dollars and 25 cents so i had recently so i went to the doan sale last tuesday and I got, I think, uh, 12 dresses or 11. I'm going to film that haul right after this. I do this video. I was going to film the haul and then I got sick. So it's been a long time coming. Um, and I'm going to share all the dresses I got with you guys. But this is one of the dresses I got. And the, this is the most popular one so far. Uh, it was the only one on the resale market. It's, this colorway is very rare, as you would say. And so it sold for a really good price. The comps were about $290 to $350. And so I'm really happy with the price that I sold it for because um, I got it in cash and yeah. And then last sale I'm gonna share with you guys is on the platform this year. Uh, this was a self-portrait midi dress that I got from the Rent the Runway sample sale, I think back in January or February of this year. So this was my last item to sell from that haul. I think I purchased like 18 items. Everything is sold. I need to do a follow-up video for that haul because I got some crazy brands and it's old sold. This was the last dress to sell and it was this beautiful self-portrait dress. This sold for $250. Like I said, I transferred everything from my Trade Z account to my Vestier account now. And within like the first or second day of me switching it over, it's I got an offer for $250. I had it listed at $300, so that was super fair. 
I paid $82.90 for this at that sample sale and I ended up profiting $162. So that was another really awesome sale. I have to wait, I think 72 hours for them to release my funds. So I'm just waiting on that. And hopefully she loved the dress. But yeah, that's what's been selling for me. Uh, sometimes sales slow down and that's okay. That's the name of the game when it comes to reselling and you have to be okay with that. Short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down to my channel if you'd like. I am going to go film that Doan sample sale haul now and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.